Hi everybody, how's everybody doing? This is Raghuraj Guru from Remax World Properties. I thought we might do something different this time around, do a small podcast instead of just posting the picture of the community market report. Um, so a podcast with me explaining each and every number would be uh, beneficial. And if you have any questions, concerns, or you have any comments, I would uh, really appreciate it. You can email me at info at realtorragu.com. Uh, please uh, make sure that you follow me on Instagram, realtorragu.com. Uh, nope, sorry, it's uh, realtorragu. Um, and also, you can uh, follow me on Facebook. Uh, just type in realtorragu, and I'm pretty sure you should be able to find it. Um, so let's uh, uh, let's do the first one for Oshawa. Yes, uh, representing always. Um, we have Keydron, Samac, Taunton, and Winfields. Um, let's quickly run over um, the numbers for last year as well as this year so uh, in terms of sales overall um, in these four communities we had 45 sales compared to uh, 58 last year um, the average price we are at about 626 and change compared to last year we were at 717 uh, days on market, 17 days on market. Um, active listing is 210. Um, so that was 31st. Yes, 31st. Uh, 30, uh, 30th, sorry. Nope, 31st of May. Uh, active listing 210. And then now we have months of inventory, which is very close to a buyer's market at 4.7. So let me take you back a little bit to the average price. So don't be shocked that we still have a $100,000 difference um, to catch up. Um, realistically looking at what is happening in the market is that a lot of people um, have changed um, the way they see homes and spaces. Um, a lot of people prefer smaller homes uh, or smaller uh, segment homes such as townhouses and uh, pottle townhouses etc so the buying uh, style has changed for this year definitely uh, for affordability purposes um, you know so that could play a major factor in why the average price is considerably down whereas you go last year people want a double garage you know single double garage a single detached that, that's what they wanted they don't want a townhouse and etc but you know a lot of people now are settling for these segment of homes uh, due to stress test and you know uh, difficulties in the mortgage market so that's what's happening so we got to keep that in mind but nevertheless the months of inventory is kind of uh, a shock to this community um, especially 4.7 that's very close to a buyer's market overall um, so let's see what happens uh, in the next couple of months but my assumption is that uh, as soon as the pre-constructions um, all finish and uh, whoever put them on sale either sell them or take it out of the market um, you know this community should settle down eventually just like northeast and northwest ajax did um, this community will settle down. It's it's a great time for buyers. Um, obviously, you can do this all that you can see how many active uh, listings we have and how many sold in the months of inventory. So definitely a good time for buyers looking to buy in this community. Uh, but uh, if you're a seller, you either need to price it very aggressively um, or you need to, um, you know, be patient. So let's move on here. I uh, did something different this time around. Um, what I did is I have the types. I put one garage plus I added link here. Um, you know, usually link homes, linked homes, they have one garage. So I added a link here and I did 1.5 plus garage this time instead of two. Uh, that would only make sense, but we don't have a lot of 1.5. So it's not going to really affect the numbers that much. So let's start with one garages. We had nine sales last month in these four communities uh, with 32 that are active. Uh, the average price was around 573, 422. That's about, that's about right. Um, and the months of inventory is about 3.6, 25 days on market. So 
obviously this is average um, anything a little bit uh, close to being new or newer or bigger square feet or bigger lot size I've seen a home recently go for 640 uh, so again it really depends high as 640 and it can go low as 520 um, so really really depends on how well the home is how big the home is the lot size etc um, so this is just an average price and another uh, factor that I don't want you to get too fixated on is days on market. Uh, days on market, um, the calculation as per this table was as per the sold homes. So let's say, for instance, if a home was listed three times before it sold, well, the two previous times are not counted in this. The days on market is only when a home sells. So let's say this particular home was listed twice before, once for one month and the second time for, um, I don't know, 20 days. So they changed the price the third time and it sold in 25 days. So we're only counting the third time. So we're not counting two previous times, so don't get too fixated. But the most important number would be the months of inventory here with 3.6 months. That just means that you know, um, we are still in a seller's market for these type of home, but uh, very close to tipping over to the balance market. Uh, anything over four is balance market. Um, four to five balance market, anything over five is, is a buyer's market. So we're very close over there. Um, so let's move on to 1.5 plus garage space. Um, so we have about 26 sales. Um, as well as uh, active 125 uh, active listings uh, as of May 31st and the average price hovering around 700, 371. Again, this is an average price for 1.5 plus garage. Uh, this could be as high as 900 and as low as 650. So again, this is an average price. And the months of inventory, as you can see, it's very close to a buyer's market for the detached homes. And, uh, you know, I have no idea why um, Whitby or Ajax, not that I have anything against these communities, um, are doing phenomenally well. Uh, but, you know, uh, Winfields as well as Taunton and these couple of other communities north in Oshawa are, are a bit uh, behind and lagging. And I think part of the reason, like I said before, is um, it's a pre-construction community. Uh, there was a lot of investment uh, that happened during uh, the peak months and it's also a university neighborhood or community so a lot of investment happened and uh, you know some people are trying to sell them instead of keeping them so therefore the market is uh, flooded with abundance of supply and in return that's slowing things down uh, so again, days on market, 16 days. So like I said before, don't get fixated on this number because um, as we know, or as I observe, a lot of detached homes do get um, terminated and relisted again. So it is what it is. Uh, if you are looking to list, uh, make sure you get a comparative market analysis and um, you know sell your home because the more you terminate and relist and terminate and relist, you're damaging you know um, the leverage that you have when it comes to an offer and a negotiation so don't do that just go the first time around go with an accurate price market it properly and uh, you should sell it uh, so going to the semis i believe one semi sold um, i did not include that it's just i put a note here saying that less than three sales of a type of property will not be calculated there's not enough data to rely on if it's less than three so we're going to leave that out i attached or sorry i added a new segment it's called detach with no garage these are the bungalows um, they exist mainly in the samac community um, you know there's a little neighborhood uh, right by taunton and simcoe uh, somerville area um, if anybody knows around there it's a, it's a beautiful little niche of neighborhood um, within a busy intersection uh, some very nice homes around there and some of them in the court backing onto conservation so definitely a good area to downsize if you're looking to do that 
Um, so if we come down, we have Pottle. Uh, again, no Pottles, nothing. Uh, one was sold. It was the four-story townhouses. It sold for 480. So there you go. That's the market price. I think uh, currently there's about 15. I could be wrong, but uh, 15 to 20 active listings on the market. Only one sold. And that's obviously because of the prices. Uh, some of them are listed as high as 600, which I think personally, my opinion is that it's, it's a bit over, um, especially when you have a community where freehold townhouses, uh, you know, uh, two levels are selling for 530, an average price of 530. You can't be selling pottle townhouses for 600. That just doesn't make sense. So you'll have to go revisit and see. Uh, what's going on if you if you're trying to sell it um, in any case the pottles uh, the ones on Simcoe and Britannia they come with a $200 maintenance fee that's for um, garbage pickup and then uh, snow shovel not sure what else is it it, it covers uh, $200 seems a little uh, a little bit above the average for for a pottle when you compare other pottles but I'm not sure what it covers I've heard that it covers windows as well as shingles so um, you know do your research if you're looking to buy one of these or call me and I'll, I'll do the research for you <laughs> so we have free whole townhouses next and uh, you know this this segment really surprised me um, I, I really thought that this segment here should have been doing really well. Uh, unfortunately, it is not um, compared to last couple of months. The inventory is uh, the month of inventory is 3.8 months, only five sold, active 19. So not sure why this segment is lagging. Um, again, this is an average price. Um, you know, two bedroom freehold are in, uh, are included in this as well. Uh, three bedrooms are going for anywhere from five. 20 high 20s to 550 depending on the upgrades you have um, and uh, you know looking at uh, the months of inventory it's not a good news uh, for this segment as well so overall the market uh, is not so well uh, for north oshawa that's for kidron samak taunton winfields if you're trying to sell um, you know you you definitely need a plan you definitely need a marketing plan you definitely need a strategy if you have to sell. Um, if you don't, then obviously you have other options. You can test the market and like like we say over here, 4.7 months of inventory, um, then you can, you can leave it for five months to see if anybody would walk in, you know, and offer you that price. Uh, till next time, thank you for tuning in. Um, if you have any comments, if you need any other help, please let me know. Uh, but uh, I, I always appreciate your feedback and uh, please do follow me on Facebook or Instagram and on social media. I would greatly appreciate it. I uh, always share any industry news, any breaking news or anything related to real estate. So please do follow me. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, um, um, you know, bye and have a safe month.